In The Phantom Menace, Captain Panaka served as the bodyguard to Queen Amidala, but in Attack of the Clones, he's replaced by his nephew, Captain Typho. So what happened to Panaka? Well, I've got a canon answer, a legends answer, and a behind the scenes answer for you. In the canon, he remained the head of royal security on Naboo. So when Padme became senator and a new queen took her place, Panaka simply stayed with the queen and Typho was appointed to serve the senator. And honestly, that makes enough sense for me. But Legends continues the story down a darker path. During the Clone Wars, Panaka learned of the secret marriage of Padme and Anakin Skywalker. He in turn informed the former Senator of Naboo, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. Palpatine was able to use that information to lure Anakin to the dark side. So in a way, Panaka is partly responsible for the destruction of the Jedi and the rise of the Galactic Empire. He remained a staunch supporter of Palpatine and was rewarded with promotions until he finally received the rank of Moth. He held that position for at least a year beyond the Battle of Endor, and likely until the final surrender of the Galactic Empire to the New Republic. Behind the scenes, IMDB says Hugh Corshi was originally slated to reprise his role as Captain Panaka in Episode 2, however he declined after Lucasfilm refused to let him read the whole script, so his character was written out and replaced with a newly created Chief of Security, Captain Typho. That's it for today. Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.